reasons to venture outside the house. Schmitty is getting taken care of today. Schmitty! He was whiny, but now he's finally calmed down. I have a slight hypoglycemia, but I should be okay. Schmitz wits. Say, are we gonna get? Are we gonna say goodbye to our manhood today? Yes, we are. We're gonna stop peeing all over the place. Yes, Hello, my pretty are. boy. So we're after surgery, and we're a little bit dozy. He is very quiet. You know, he doesn't shut up at home, and yet for some reason, this kind of an experience for that for my experience at least, most of my cats have always been kind of noisy. He's very quiet. Hi, Schmidt. Aren't you a pretty kitty cat? And I know that he's still under the influence because look at his look at his pupils, how big they are. So I've just finished. I had a doctor's appointment. I feel like I've escaped and I'm a felon again and I left home. I picked up as I showed my cat from being fixed. So, And he's running around very happy at home. I left, so, so I went over to my neurologist, which also sit in the same clinic as my as my endocrinologist, not to be confused with the diabetes doctor, which is another thing. <laughs> this is so depressing. Uh, I missed my appointment with my endocrinologist on Friday because I had a horrible sugar drop and I couldn't, a hypoglycemic event and I couldn't drive. So uh, I, I wanted to reschedule and I ended up going in to her eventually and now I have a new test I have to do. I also went, they want me to put on the masks, although I don't know how efficient the masks are. So I got the simplest mask possible, simply so nobody says anything to me. And they finally had these in stock at the pharmacy, uh, these guys. It's so weird to me that I'm going to be using these. I mean, okay, maybe I can put this on. Oh, look at that. You can barely see me. I've actually used already a put alcohol gel on my hands. And it has a little thingy here. Okay, this is so uncomfortable. And I think you're supposed to stretch it like that. Okay. So I look ridiculous now. I wanted to go over to the uh, supermarket to pick up something. That seems to be the only reason to leave home these days. It's really funny. Oh, well, I don't understand how people wear these all day long. It's really uncomfortable. And I'm only wearing it because my neurologist and my ando wanted me to. Yeah. But these were not too expensive. I paid 33 shekels for 10 of these. That's a little bit under $10 for, so it's about a dollar a piece. Isn't the cheapest, but it's okay compared to there was there's like a black market for these damn things, and they're finally in stock again. So I guess that's I, I guess it sits pretty well. What was funny is I don't touch these masks once they're on my face because it's a good way of putting creating a wonderful platform for all kinds of bacteria to sit on and to sit on your face and fester. And all I kept doing is watching both of my doctors today kept touching their face and touching their masks. And I'm like, you're not supposed to do that. That's the whole idea. But they're, they're talking right now in Israel about maybe, maybe we're coming up with a recommendation so that people will start wearing masks. So they'll have to... They'll have to provide these more. They're they're actually producing these locally now. I think more than just having them uh, brought in from someplace else. And the other thing is is that they also have to control the price if that's the case. They're talking about this. They don't have a clear answer. It's really debatable. I I suppose that if you don't remove them properly, it also doesn't make a point. You know, you're not supposed to touch the mask. You're supposed to touch it from here. Um, putting it on and taking it off for obvious reasons. I use alcohol gel. I don't use gloves. But I'm going to try to go to the grocery store now, I think. So, yeah. Am I that crazy? So, it's now the 2nd of April, uh, and it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning, which means I'm going to finally be able to watch, uh, listen to the radio because it starts broadcasting at 5 o'clock. Between midnight to 5 o'clock, they have uh, reruns of podcasts they have on. 
Anyways, I woke up around 1.30 because I went to sleep. I was so exhausted. I went to sleep. I visited two of my doctors today. I went to my neurologist and I went because my neurologist sits in the same clinic as my endocrinologist, which I missed an appointment with on Friday. Uh, she uh, agreed to see me. I just wanted to reschedule an appointment. She was there and available, so that worked out really nicely. Um, picked up my cat today, went out walking, did a, did a two kilometer, you know, circling around the block type of thing. Things that happened when I was sleeping, <laughs> let's call it that. Um, Bibi does this, our prime minister does this, he goes on at eight o'clock or nine o'clock and he has the daily, we, we call it the, the daily Bibi show. Anyways, he announced that every family with children will get up to, it will get 500 shekels, uh, 500 shekels per child, up to four children. So if you have four children, you'll get 2,000 shekels for that. If you have no children, you'll get bupkis, which is my status. Uh, it has nothing to do with if you're unemployed right now or if you're an industry that got hurt or... Uh, medical conditions or anything. It has to do with simply the fact that you have children, which is ridiculous because if you're in a situation right now that you're still working in the same exact job that you've been working at and your salary has not been hit, why should you get an extra, you know, there's very limited funds and you have to think about how you give it. There's a lot of people who have their own small businesses that are really hurting right now and not to mention that I'm personally seeing it from my point of view, which is, you know, as you can imagine. So that's one of the decisions. The other thing that uh, apparently he said is that um, they're wanting to, they, they want to start, and they recommend, I don't think this is an official, um, it's more of a recommendation than an actual, what's the word, rule, I guess you would, I guess that's how I would define it. They want to enforce people to wear Masks. If you're asking me, masks, I understand the logic of them preventing from you to make other people around you sick. And therefore, I think that people who give services definitely should be wearing masks and they should be provided masks from their employer. But for me to wear a mask is... I don't see the point. I did pick up some masks today for the very few times that I leave the house. So that, yeah. Um... I don't think that masks are that efficient, if you ask me, but it's yet to be seen. I think that my levels of anxiety have definitely, I have a very hard time holding, I need a selfie stick. I have, um, my anxiety levels have definitely re been reduced for the past several days. A, I've just given up completely. I'm just going to sleep when I, I get very tired. I woke up at, an, er, at a decent time yesterday after sleeping a decent amount, and yet I just conked out completely before 8 o'clock. That's why I was up at 1.30. Um, they, I've given up on that. I've just decided to keep my wits about it. I've kind of come to this kind of, if I get infected, I get infected and there's nothing I can do about it. And I don't go out. I don't, and that doesn't mean I'm going to start traveling all over the, and traipsing all over the country and trying to kick a contract it but if despite me social distancing and not even going and spending Passover with my family I still get it then then I just this this is really you know there really was nothing I could do about it so I'm doing my part but I'm not gonna freak out anymore because saying that I hope I remind myself this next time I start getting anxious but we'll see time time is yet to be you know um, being home, having my cat here, having my cats. Also, I want to point out that one of the things that's really, really, really helping me is seeing self-humor, not self-humor, but corona humor on YouTube and TV and people, and that's just, I like people. I like, it's really weird because it's very important for me to have my own space and my own alone time, but I really like on one hand, I hate people because they can be stupid, but on the other hand, I really, really need social environment and people and to enrich my life with with people <laughs> and thoughts. And I work 
I work in, in a place that allows me, in, in, not in a place, but in a, in a position that has allowed me to be exposed to a lot of very smart people, very interesting people, and I, I really miss that. My favorite thing right now, do you usually see these kind of things on, at, like, that happen somewhere else, but this just made my day. It's a video that somebody posted. I'm going to try to see if I can show you. So this is somebody filming from their balcony. And I love the laughter in the background. It's a giant Pikachu costume. Somebody went out to throw out their garbage. <laughs> Oops, didn't go in. Let's try that again. I just, people are great. It is the, dates are confusing, 4th of March, uh, Friday morning. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Again, it seems like there's something really screwed up in terms of, and, and this has to link in somewhat to the current situation, but it also has to do a lot with my chronic fatigue, uh, which has a lot to do with my sleep cycle. So I have to figure out how to deal with that, and I've been thinking about it, because obviously I'm having a little bit of trouble, like, not like, but sleeping a full eight hours, or if I do, then I sleep too much, or then I don't sleep at all. So what I'm thinking of doing in order to fix that is I'm thinking about a cycle, 24-hour cycle, that actually includes a night sleep and then an early an early nap in the afternoon. So waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning and going till 10.30 or 11 and then sleeping till noon or 1 p.m. And I had a schedule that I used to do that and actually I got a lot done when I was when I used to work like that. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. And one of the main one of the main concerns that I have about that is that I'll oversleep and sleep beyond the one PM. And I'm at that point where I actually have I, I can't talk. He won't shut up. He's responding, I think, to me talking. Um also that's the other thing that's going on there right now. Uh Schmidt came back from surgery yesterday and he also had some teeth pulled out because they were rotten, which is they said sometimes some cats are more prone to that because he's a young cat, he shouldn't have any, you know, uh rotten teeth. Anyways, he's getting anti preventative antibiotics now, which is a lot of fun as you can imagine, and I've given him the second dose already, and he's a fighter. <laughs> so that was fun. Um I'm going to go on one of my, I've been up and I've actually been, I, I, I'm actually going to get some things done today. I've already cleaned up in my office. I know sometimes it's wonder, but I always have some kind of drink lying around and that is always there, uh, that, this, because that's where Muffin sleeps often. Uh, I'm going to go, I have a walk around my, uh, within my 100 meters allowed uh, around my house, I have a route that takes me just, if you go in the right direction and the right pace, it takes you, it, it, it's, a, it's a kilometer worth. And uh, I just do that, and that's a kilometer. It's, a, it's over a thousand steps. There he goes again. And I'm just going to do one of those right now. I usually do like two. I do two, two, two rounds. So I'm going to do one. And I painted my nails. I feel human again. Maybe this is what put me back in the mood. I don't know. Maybe my fingernails. Painting my nails. So I'm going to go have a one kilometer. Because I don't think I'm into doing two kilometers right now. So I'll just do one. Yeah. I unpacked. I didn't unpack it immediately. Uh, I think it was part lazy and part didn't want to really fiddle with it. I got a vegetable delivery. Well, I picked up a vegetable delivery. The service that does this uh, distributes them at the gas station. So you come and you pick them up in these ready-made boxes. 
and it's all ready according to what you ordered and it cost me 108 shekels to get all of this and I'm pretty pleased except for I'll, I'll show you but it's not the first time I've used this service um, the thing that I'm most a little bit disappointed at is the mushrooms last time I got it they were really beautiful mushrooms I mean they're not bad they're hard which is the qualification as far as I'm concerned and I'll use these in my stir-fry but when I I want to put them in my salad I like them to be crunchy uh, that's my criteria I got sprouts I got chives which I should really go back to uh, growing my own I got this little tiny package and you realize how small it was they're calling them chocolate cherry and it's a tiny unit but they're nice and big they're not that small if I don't know if you can tell I got six onions which are always good because I'm gonna make a soup today and a stir fry later on I got these beautiful sweet potatoes this four they're long and nice uh, three packages of uh, mushrooms and as you can see they're not I'm a little bit disappointed because they were not the cheapest so uh, the cucumbers are gorgeous, nice and, and, and long and skinny. I got a package of, this is, we call it um, Arab lettuce. I'm sure that's not how it's, I'm sure it's not how it's spelled, uh, how it's pronounced in, 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 I'm sure this is not how it's called in English. Uh, if you know what it's called in English, please let me know. Uh, I also got a round lettuce head. Um, which is my favorite because it's crunchy. I got a package of carrots, big bag of potatoes, so I'll have to be eating a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Two things of celery. I like the celery that's actually chunky, and there's one place that I know that I can go and get it, and they just give you the, the celery itself without all the leaves and stuff, and they're usually very nice and thick. But since I'm going to use this in mostly in cooking, that should be fine. I like the ones that are thicker when I'm munching on it, like with peanut butter and stuff. Um... I got a little. I got a few zucchinis, mainly for stir fry, but I'm thinking maybe I should make like we call it zucchini, but what it is, it's it's a, it's um it's a dish that basically has zucchini, uh, fried mushrooms, fried peppers, and tomatoes, uh, tomato paste or tomato crushed tomatoes. I also got a head of this beautiful head of cabbage. Isn't this gorgeous? I miss. I really miss going to the market. <laughs> I really miss going to the market, you know, seeing stuff. I also need a cauliflower. They didn't have a cauliflower on, online. Um, I also got peppers, so I got two beautiful green ones. I'm going to make um, this sauce, this sweet and sour sauce. I got two orange ones, and I got, there's four in here and four in here, and these are just beautiful red peppers. I already ate two. <laughs> So that's my order for vegetables. This should last me for quite a while because I still have some vegetables in the fridge. I still have a clean up in the house. That's today's job. As you can see, I still have stuff. Uh, that's my vegetable drawers. I definitely have stuff in there. So I'm working on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have my salad now. I've already dished out my salad mix. I usually get a bag that has like, um, uh, it's a mixture. So this is the mixture. It has, as you can see, what I call round ca cabbage and the other kind of cabbage. It usually has some kind of, not cabbage, lettuce. Round lettuce, round, uh, and what I called Arab lettuce, uh, carrots, maybe some cabbage. This is really tasty one. It also has some beets in it. But that's the base usually. And I got the salad mixture, which is all ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll just prep it so it's all, it's all mixed in and all I have to do is dump it in. And I can always go and pick up some more. So yeah, that's today. That's going to be my salad pretty soon. So it's now 7.30. I've unpacked the box of vegetables and I'm going to put them away after I eat. I'm first going to eat. I have pretty good levels of energy today and I'm going to try to make it work. I am going to try to take a nap uh, for an hour or a power nap of 40 minutes later on. This is my breakfast salad. I'm not, I'm not into drinking coffee right now. I'm not a big coffee drinker so I do have some water with me here. Um, I have corn because I'm a corn fanatic. It's the uh, salad mix underneath. I'm not gonna, I, I'm gonna be very tempted to go out to the grocery store or the local store right next door. Uh, but I don't think I need to. And I think it's just part of the whole panic shopping mode. But I really don't think I need to. I think I might want to get some milk. That's it. Because I do have some pitot in the freezer. So I always have some kind of form of bread. Um, and yeah, and I have lots of vegetables, and I don't, don't think I need anything. I even have, like, junk food if I really want to. 
uh, which is interesting because as soon as I have junk food in the house, I tend to lean towards the healthy food. Just having it in the house makes me feel reassured. Totally psychological. Uh, fresh mushrooms, this amazing cucumber that has all this flavor. Just I can smell it. I love it when you get cucumbers like that. There's a uh, half an avocado or a small avocado in here floating around. Uh, a lemon from my tree. <laughs> uh, some cheese. I have enough of this cheese uh, for today. Another salad tonight and another salad tomorrow morning. And I think that if I don't eat it within the next two days, it will start going bad. And I have another chunk of other kind of hard cheese that I, I don't like throwing away. So I'm going to try to eat it up. Uh, what else does this have? Oh, and it has this like um, mixture of uh, sesame, different kinds of sesame seeds, I think, and uh, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. I know that it also has and salt and lemon. So, so we're going to yes, try to take a little breakfast. nap, and it's great because look, I've got these two right next to me. This is me. And my other cat is on my other side because she doesn't socialize. Oh, you happy kittens? Who's happy kitty cats? Good night, little guy.